Christians have to be aware of get-rich-quick schemes. Even if we are able to accumulate wealth quickly, the money tends to vanish faster than we could anticipate. Proverbs 13 verse 11 tells us, Wealth from get-rich-quick scheme quickly disappears. Wealth from hard work grows. The verse tells us that while get-rich-quick scheme can work at times, they often fail because our hearts are not in the right place and the money vanishes as quickly as it appeared. Instead, if we work hard for it and save it over time, we will enjoy it more, be more thankful for it, and be more likely to spend it wisely. Proverbs 20 verse 21 says, An inheritance claimed too soon will not be blessed at the end. It may be more problem than a blessing when we obtain money in a huge lump sum. How often did you hear about lottery winners with financial or family difficulties years later? Wealth comes from hard work and sound counsel. The Bible warns people against get rich quick schemes. It encourages us to accumulate wealth through hard work and wise counsel. Proverbs 28 verse 19 tells us, Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. One thing to keep in mind is that even if we are able to create wealth, we must be careful not to put too much faith in it. Psalm 62 verse 10 says, Do not count on extortion to make you rich. Do not hope to gain anything through robbery when riches increases. Do not depend on them. So where can we find true wealth? Only in the gift of salvation which God is giving us can we find true wealth. Nothing we can do to accumulate wealth or riches can compare to what we have been given in Jesus Christ. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 to 18 says, Tell those who have the riches of this world not to be arrogant and not to place their confidence in anything as uncertain as riches. Instead, they should place their confidence in God who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. Tell them to do good, to do a lot of good things, to be generous and to share. When your season of material wealth arrives, don't become arrogant. Work hard and achieve success in life, but don't consider yourself superior to others because of your material wealth. In Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, the Bible says, But remember the Lord your God, for it is He who gives you the ability to produce wealth, and so confirms His covenant, which He swore to your ancestors as it is today. Don't put your hope in your wealth. Proverbs 23 verse 5 says, In the blink of an eye, wealth disappear, for it will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle. So be rich in good deeds. A good deed is a selfless act of service to another person. The fruit of your salvation in Jesus Christ is doing good deed for others. Ephesians 2 verse 10 tells us, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, You are our God. We earnestly search for You. Our soul thirsts for You. Our bodies longs for You in this parching weary land where there is no water. Lord, we have seen You in Your sanctuary and gaze upon your power and glory. Your unfailing love is better than life itself. How we praise you. We praise you as long as we live. We will lift up our hands to you in prayer. We will praise you with songs of joy. Father, we thank you for manifesting your mighty miracles throughout the body of Christ. We thank you for salvation, which is the greatest miracle of all. Thank you for blessing us with your presence. Father, according to your own will, you minister with signs and wonders, various miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, we expect miracles to manifest during our times of worship. Lord, as you brought Israel out of the land of Egypt with signs and wonders, with a strong hand and outstretched arm, so we believe that you will manifest your glory in our lives. Lord Jesus, as you perform so many miracles during your ministry, we rejoice that you say that we will do great works than you did because you were going to the Father and we're sending us the Holy Spirit. We confess that we, the body of Christ, will do what Jesus did and will move to the greater things. Lord, as you turned water into wine, spoke and healed the ruler's daughter, touched the casket and the dead men rose, called Lazarus from the dead, cast the demons out of legion, and healed the woman with the issue of blood. So we expect to have personal encounters with you in our public and private lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we commend financial increase in our lives today. We decree that our marvelous works will follow us so people will come to you confessing Jesus Christ as the Lord and Redeemer. 
we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimonies. So Father, we thank you that every member of the body of Christ will have a one-on-one -on -one encounter with you so that I will have a testimony of your power, your authority, your love, your grace, your healing, your financial blessings and deliverance. Holy Spirit, have your perfect way in our lives so that miracles, signs and wonders can flow freely. Stir up the gift of faith within us, Lord. Allow us to have a personal and direct access to your glory so we will proclaim as the Samaritan woman, come and see a man who have told me everything I've ever did. Please use us to perform your miracles, your signs and wonders. Holy Spirit, empower us so that we are effective witnesses of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive those people who have doubted your word and works. Forgive those for operating in fear and unbelief. Forgive those who have not taken the time to say thank you for the miraculous work you have done in their lives. Forgive all of us for not comprehending with all the sins, the breath, the length, death, the height and love of Christ, which passes all understanding and knowledge. Father, forgive me for any sins that I have committed. Holy Spirit, remind me of all those we need to forgive and help us to be quick to forgive. Holy Spirit, bring to my remembrance those I need to forgive. Holy Spirit, help us not to yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, you are holy, holy, holy. You are the God who is, who was, and who is to come. You are the Almighty. You are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the Eternal King, the Unseen One who will never die. You alone are God in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind Satan, the ruler of spirit, every principality, every power, ruler of darkness, wicked spirit in high places, the spirit of poverty and python and all their underlying or territorial spirits, all above, around, and below them and all spirit not of the Holy Spirit manifesting against my finances tonight. I loose myself and my finances free from the wicked and demonic grip. In the name of Jesus Christ, command Satan to release your grip from my finances. Get your hands off my finances, my income, and my possession this day and every day to come in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I break every spirit of poverty and financial life that was inherited through my bloodline. Wipe it off my life by the blood of Jesus. I bind off familiar and generational curses of poverty and break every satanic chain of poverty of my life in Jesus' name. I renounce and reverse every financial curse with the blood of eternal covenant in the name of Jesus. I bind and destroy the activity of anti-harvest forces in the name of Jesus Christ. I renounce and reverse every financial curse with the blood of eternal covenant. All spiritual padlock like that locked out my wealth from coming into my life melt to ashes right now in Jesus' name. Every device of the enemy to divert my wealth through sickness, sudden death, accidents and financial emergencies be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I commend Satan to restore sevenfold return of all he has told from me. Lord, I know your word is true and will not return to you void. So every mark of in writing of poverty and material lack on my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. I pull down every financial roadblock in the name of Jesus. I come in all crooked places to be made straight in Jesus' name. I come in all my financial miracles to arrive by speed in the name of Jesus. I come in all financial desert and wilderness to be turned into spring and spool of flowing living water in the name of Jesus. I bound every spirit of unfruitfulness in my life and I commend my barren grounds to be healed and restored in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus. By my trusting faith in Jesus Christ, I call my finances restored, prosperous, and full of God's abundance according to the Lord Jesus Christ's plans for my life. I am blessed because I walk not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand with sinners, nor do I sit with the scornful. I choose to spend my days delighting in the law of the Lord and meditating in His words day and night. And because of this, I am like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring Him forth fruit in my season and what I do will not wither, and whatsoever I do shall prosper. I receive by faith in Jesus Christ the full restoration of my financial position right now. All channels of supernatural blessings are fully restored unto me and my family. I am blessed to be a blessing. Father in heaven, it is you who gives me power to get wealth, that your covenant is established in the earth and in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break and annul all assignment of the enemy against my finances in Jesus' name. 
I break and annul all curses of poverty, lack, death, and failure in the name of Jesus. I seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things are added to me. I rebuke and cast out all spirit of the canker worm, palmer worm, caterpillar, and locust that will eat up my blessings in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, you teach me to profit and lead me in the ways I should go. You are Jehovah Jireh, my provider. You are El Shaddai, the God who is more than enough. Wealth and riches are in my house because I fear you and delight greatly in your commandments. The blessings of the Lord upon my life makes me rich, and he has no sorrow with it. I am blessed coming in and blessed going out, blessed in the city and everywhere I go. I am God's servant, and he takes pleasure in my prosperity because I favor his righteous cause. Jesus Christ, you became poor that through your poverty I was made rich. I meditate in your word day and night, and whatever I do prosper in the name of Jesus. Peace is within my walls and prosperity within my palace. I prosper to the prophets and prophetic ministry. I believe the true prophets of God and I prosper in the name of Jesus. I am your servant, Lord. Thank you for prospering me. The God of heaven prospers me. I live in the prosperity of the King. Through your favor, Lord, I am a prosperous person. Lord, you call me and you made my way prosperous daily. I pray and fast in secret and you reward me openly. I am rewarded because I trust you and diligently seek you. Lord, you have released the wealth of the wicked into my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you have brought me into my wealthy place. I give and is giving unto me good measure, pressed down, shaking together and running over. The floodgates of heaven are open over my life and I receive more than I have room to receive. There are no holes in my bag in the name of Jesus. The devourer is rebuked and his assignment is canceled for my sake in the name of Jesus. And I am a delightful land. I am in a league with the stones of the field. My gates are open so that wealth of the nation comes into my life continually in the name of Jesus. Your showers of blessings are upon my life. My vats overflow continually in the name of Jesus. My barns are filled with plenty and my presses burst with new wine. You have commanded your blessing upon my storehouse, O Lord. My barns are full and overflowing. My sheep brings forth thousands and ten thousands. My oxen are strong to labor. The plowman overtakes the reaper in my life, and the treader of grapes, the sower of the seed, and I live in continual harvest in the name of Jesus. My floor is full of wheat, and my vats overflow with wine and oil. You have dealt wondrously with me. I eat and am satisfied. You lead me into the land flowing with milk and honey, O Lord. You have brought me into the land without scarceness or lack. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All grace abounds towards me because I have all sufficiency in all things and bound to every good work. My head is anointed with oil and my cup runs over. I have riches and honor in abundance. The rock pours out rivers of oil. My feet are deep in oil. I love wisdom. I inherit his substance and my treasures I fill at all times in the name of Jesus. Lord, you have brought honey out of the rock for me in the name of Jesus. I have plenty of silver in the name of Jesus. Your river of life leads me to gold in the name of Jesus. I inherited the land. I refuse to allow the angels of blessing to depart without blessing me in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray tonight. Amen.